Moving, guys. Come on, moving, moving. Mark, get your gloves on. Come on. Yes, uh, barring class on now. Lots of people fighting on November 20th. Mark sort of sleep. Started his camp last week. Um, seven or eight guys from this gym fighting. Mark's obviously fighting for the WBC Cruiserweight title against Grakovic from Italy. Um, he's a WBC Italian champion, so it's, uh, it's, um, it's a difficult task for Mark. It's going to be one of his biggest fights, but this is uh, the steps now to, to world title glory. So this is international. An international fight, WBC international fight. Two champions from WBC fight each other, so it's big news. Um, full on the card. It's, it's just going to be a great night, absolutely great night. Time, guys, good time. Yeah, we just uh, can't wait for it. Really, it's, you know, we're a little bit out, a little bit out of time. Yeah, we've got some more time to come, but um, he's looking good already, which is important. So. Feel good. Um, <laughs> Six weeks out, I feel in shape. And, uh, I'm ready to go. Yeah, he's strong. He's got good techniques. You know, he's going to come and bring it. I think he has good tie style. He can push forward. Um, he's not going to make mistakes. And I'm going to have to be on my game. I'm going to have to be on my game and uh, take him where he doesn't want to be. He's bringing the pride of his country with him. It's an international title fight. I expect he's going to be wearing the flag on the back, ready to go, represent his country, and uh, so am I. You know, I've been getting ready for this for 13 years, and uh, these are the moments I've been preparing for. And I'm excited to get out there and, and uh, show everything that I've worked for in the last 13 years. Camp's been good. It's um, we always work. Like, we start off a little bit like working a lot of techniques and the tactics. Uh, watching a lot of video footage um, and then we still have our classes going on, lots of group classes going on, he's sparring at the moment so we make sure he gets at least 20 to 30 rounds in a week of sparring and uh, we do a lot of um, role play with that as well, especially for the first sort of two to four weeks of camp. He'll then go for six weeks after that, a little bit more intense, a lot more pad work, a lot more drill work, a lot more conditioning as well to his body. But I mean to be honest with you, he's already at 75 80 percent now and we're you know we're, we're a good way out now well camp's always tough yeah you know you got to be disciplined for eight weeks it's bumping and grinding your body gets sore you get tired more down so you really got to balance it out and make sure you get your rest um but camp's been great kieran kettle he's got the winning system you know it's proven he prepares us in a way that gets us ready for these moments and uh, he puts us through absolute hell, but it's what makes it worth it. You gotta, you fight how you train. So you gotta train and prepare the way that you wanna fight. And I think that we do that. And uh, training's been good. Yeah, I mean, it's a step for a world title, but really I see it as an obstacle to the world title. And I gotta overcome that obstacle. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do because when I got into this sport, I believed early on that I could be a world champion. And that's been my goal all along. And I think that the WBC world title is the best of the best. And to put that green strap around my waist would be a dream come true. It'd be why I started in the sport. And uh, it'd be getting to the peak of the mountain. Tune in, get the pay-per-view. Um, it's going to be a hell of a war. I know he's coming to bring it. I'm coming to bring it. Um, Shout out to Ryan Rizicki, who's fighting for a world title soon. Good for you. Let's both get WBC world titles. What's it feel like when Mark fights on the show? Uh, pretty nerve wracking, I would say. Um, I get pretty nervous for his fights. I mean, more so even than for my own. Um, but super exciting um, as his girlfriend and just as a fight fan to watch him. Uh, it was a super cool experience to fight on the same show as Mark, especially because we both uh, came away with the win. Um, it was, I would say, added pressure for myself going out there just because I didn't want to, you know, uh, 
mess with his emotions in case I didn't do well. So uh, yeah, it felt good to go out there and get a big win and that hyped him up a lot and I think helped him a bit. So it was a, it was a great night, great experience. Training together um, at Elite Martial Arts five, six times a week. Um, how is that? I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't see each other if we didn't, so. <laughs> so it's date uh, night? It's date night, yeah. <laughs> date night. Yeah, the only, the only place we go together is the gym, so. Well, I shouldn't throw Mark under the bus. We have the occasional real life. <laughs> <laughs> prediction? Uh, prediction, I'm going to say Mark's going to win the fight inside five rounds. Uh, via punches, boxing. Mark's got uh, good, strong boxing, and I think he's gonna put this guy away with his hands. <laughs>